And here in Singapore, the Health Ministry has appointed a review committee to look into the design of the new medical insurance scheme, MediShield Life. Many complex issues are involved as the intent of the scheme is to cover all Singaporeans and provide better coverage for large hospital bills. Health Minister Gan Kim Yong said the committee will have to consult widely to better understand the benefits, implications and trade-offs involved. When the new MediShield Life takes effect, everyone, including those with pre-existing illnesses, will be covered for life. Mr Gan said the cost impact of bringing those previously excluded into the scheme needs to be worked out, as well as whether this group will have to pay more. Also, premiums for the lower income group must be kept affordable. But Mr Gan said how such a group is defined and what kind of help they will receive must be addressed. The committee will also need to study the extent of pre-funding for younger working Singaporeans. We are looking at how we can help them to pre-fund, to pay a bit more when they are young and working and earning a, a good income, to put aside more into MediShield so that when they themselves grow old, uh, they would not have to pay as much as they would otherwise have to. I think uh, it is also important uh, for us to uh, clarify that uh, this pre-funding is uh, for themselves. It's not uh, about getting them to pay for those who are already old. And those who are already old today, uh, if there are difficulties, the government will find ways to help them. The 10-member committee will be headed by Council of Presidential Advisers of Singapore member Bobby Chin. To ensure a good mix of views, Mr Chin said the committee will comprise members from various groups like finance, insurance, medical, unions and the grassroots. Mr Chin added that their diverse expertise and perspectives will help shape the recommendations for MediShield Life. The committee will conduct its review through multiple platforms, including focus groups, public forums and online. The committee will complete its review in six months, after which it will present its recommendations to the Health Ministry in May. The government will then study the recommendations and make its decision before implementing the scheme in 2015.